Hello everybody. Thought I'd make a video here how to make uh, salmon patties on the Coleman stove. I got them ready to put on the stove. I'll show all the ingredients. It's just a can of salmon. Starkist salmon. Mustard. Texas Speed Hot Sauce. Cornmeal. Vegetable oil. Put a little bit of vegetable oil in the salmon. And I put that on my pan. I have a metal pan lined with aluminum foil. I got the vegetable oil in the pan here with aluminum foil. Got the coma stove fired up already. Uh, mixed all that up. Done got this mixed up. I just make patties with my hand. And get them frying. I've already seen a couple of mosquitoes flying around, but uh, that's part of life, I guess. It's a pretty good recipe. It's how my mom used to make them when I was growing up. I'm around 50 something now and uh, beat this growing up. Uh, salmon with mustard and cornmeal. That's how my mom made it. Pretty good. It's starting to fry already. Coleman stove works pretty good. I refill my propane cylinders to two small green containers from my bigger container. Uh, 20 pound tank or the, whatever the big tank is that runs your barbecue grill. There's a bone. I'll pick out that bone since I saw it. Uh, bones are pretty soft. You can eat them. This fish is cooked in the can already, so any bones that's in there, you can eat them. Yeah, I've got a stove in the house, but uh, I just want to do it outside on the cold stove. See how it come out. You may hear the neighbors next door. Uh, they got about three or four kids over there with a the swim pool. They're just right over our, right beside my yard. Uh, so I got five fillets there, or five patties. So we'll let them fry for a minute, and uh, can't do much else with my hands like they are now. So I'll be right back real quick. I'm gonna run the house, rinse my hands off, and uh, can watch this fry until I get back. About 45 seconds. So I tried the uh, mackerel in a can. Uh, it's all right. It's pretty good. Uh, just to let you know, I bought uh, one can of mackerel at the Dollar Tree, and I opened it and looked at it, and I threw it away. It was just dark. It was probably okay to eat. I saw a YouTube video. A guy used it and made made what looked to be some pretty good fish patties, but uh, I didn't like the looks of it. I like the salmon patties pretty good. Uh, Ate this growing up, it's pretty good. Uh, like I say, all, all is in the salmon is a can of salmon, Texas Pete hot sauce, mustard, cornmeal, some vegetable oil. That's it. Filled up my green propane tanks with my bigger tank. I got an adapter off of eBay. Screw that right into the big tank, turn that big tank upside down, turn it on, turn the valve on, refill them. So we're going to see how this turns out.
Because they're looking pretty good so far. Uh, cooking over hot stove sure makes you thirsty, I know that. And I can still hear those kids next door hollering, screaming, playing around in a swim pool. I am in the backyard of my house, uh, the very back of my lot back here. I'm going to see how this comes out. They're not ready to turn yet. I may have to turn the heat up. I bumped the heat up on both burners. Uh, so I put the uh, two layers of aluminum foil in my metal pan. Just for extra cleanliness. I washed the pan, of course, uh, but I just thought I'd try two layers of aluminum foil and pour that oil in our vegetable oil in the pan. I did mix some vegetable oil in the bowl with the salmon. When I mixed it up, I, I said this was all my ingredients. I did put one egg and one can of salmon and Texas peat, mustard, corn flour, Corn meal, I mean, and vegetable oil. But I did put one egg in there. Well, I flipped that one over. It's got a little bit of a burnt spot on it. And that one didn't cook at all. So, just to let y'all know, I see already the heat is not distributed evenly. The heat is all going to one spot, looks like. This may be a disaster. My first time doing this on a cold stove, I may have a disaster. It's only cooking on one side. I'm going to try to scoot it over. I'm going to move this one over and put this one up in the corner. That corner seems to be the hottest. I don't know why. I believe it's downhill and the oil's going that way. So this one burned when I flicked it. So that corner is pretty hot. So I scooted it over. I'm going to try to get this closer to the center. sure how this is going to turn out. They're falling apart because I was moving them. I think they'll be okay to eat. Just a question of what it's going to take to get them done. They smell good already. That one's getting brown. Try to reposition this pan. I have to keep moving them around because uh, I think what happened was uh, the pan didn't have uniform heat. That one browned a little bit. I just flipped it. The pan itself, the metal pan, was not he heated up enough didn't have uniform heat, probably should have left it on, get get the entire pan hot before I put the fish in, but looks like it's going to work out. Still falling apart. Maybe I don't have the heat up enough. I don't know. The 
It don't seem to be browning too good, but anyway, uh, coming out pretty good. What y'all see this one? Pretty brown. Flip that one over. Cooking pretty good. Uh, we'll put it back here and move one of the others up here. That's the hot spot. This corner seems to be hot. For whatever reason, that corner is pretty hot. Just have to wait. Let them cook. Uh, working out pretty good. Uh, even though I put mustard in them when I mix it up, I still put mustard on them when I get ready to eat them. This one come out pretty brown. That is pretty brown. And I'm going to cook it on the other side. Like I say, for some reason, this corner is pretty hot in this corner of this pan. The rest of the pan seems to be cold. I've got two burners going. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll try to flip this one and see what it looks like. Got a little bit brown. That one did. Uh, not sure what's going on. I think the left burner is hotter than the right burner, if that makes any sense. I may be able to take that one off. That's the first one that got brown, actually a little burnt. Uh, that one may be about done. I hear them sizzling now. That grill's getting hot now. I think that one's done. I'm going to take it off. Still sizzling. Brown on both sides. Put that on the plate. The first one that burnt a little bit. That one's done. About dropped it. Put that one in the hot corner, in the hot seat. Move this one over closer to the hot seat. Not sure what's going on with this one. It ain't cooking at all. There's something going on with that. It's falling apart and it ain't even trying to brown. I will learn something. It's my first time doing this on the Coleman stove. Uh, I wanted to figure out a better method. That one's done. So y'all saw I cooked these things in just a few minutes. The, the salmon is pre-cooked already in the can. I just mixed up a few other ingredients. See that was pretty golden brown. I got three done already. Uh, two more to get done for some reason. That one corner is hot and the rest of the pan is cold. This one's falling apart burnt on the bottom. Kind of burned a little bit. It burnt. Again, uh, don't know why it's burning in that corner. Maybe there's no oil down there. Alright, three done and two more to go. Probably could have used a little bit more oil in there, vegetable oil, maybe. This was Starkiest Wild Alaskan Pink Salmon. With mustard, mustard, cornmeal, 
vegetable oil, Texas Speed hot sauce. Stirred up in a bowl with my hands, made a patty and fried them. And let's see what's going on here. I'll take that one off. It's kind of burning in spots. Uh, I believe I'm lacking in the vegetable oil. This one is. Uh, Seems to want to fall apart. It's, get, it's got brown on the bottom, uh, so maybe I put it back on here in this hot corner, as I call it. I'm going to turn this burner off. The right side burner don't seem to be doing anything. It's burning. Something about the heat, the way the heat is distributed. So you can hear that frying, it's doing pretty good. For some reason, this corner cooks them hotter. I'll never figure that out, why that is. Uh, so anyway, uh, save you some money, you can refill these tanks. I got on eBay, got an adapter about this long, a price adapter. Scoop that into my big tank for your uh, barbecue grill. Scoop that in there, turn that big tank upside down, refill these too. The big tank is only $20 to get it refilled or exchanged. So I had these two tanks. I'm, I'm using one, of course, on the stove. and got the other one sitting there. Uh, so I can cook outside or go camping. Uh, this one kind of got really brown on the bottom. Show you what it looks like. Got pretty brown. So here is the finished product. I'm going to turn my stove off. Stove is off. Uh, got a flame going here. Got to do something with that. But uh, here's the finished product: salmon patties, fried with cornmeal mustard, hot sauce. Thank you all for watching.